It's a little breezy today out in the great forests of central Kansas, as you can probably hear. Even though I do have a sock on the mic, you'll probably pick up some wind. Today I'm looking at diamond weatherproof matches. I'm used to the other diamond matches, especially from way back in the day when they were actually decent with the redheads. They mostly turned them all green due to the federal government. But these are weatherproof matches, and this is the first time I've ever seen this make from them. So I don't know how new they are, but we're going to see how they burn. Hopefully these burn better than the Pine Mountain ones that did a maximum of about 18 seconds, I think. And, were, and as they sat out, they got worse. But this is basically the same sort of thing. Diamond weatherproof matches are windproof and waterproof. They're guaranteed to stay lit for up to 25 seconds, which is kind of funny. It's like, come on, come on, guys, you expect everything else to have a number on it, not an up to. And we'll relight even after being submerged in water. We are going to check that. It says, stay prepared for emergencies at home and while camping or hiking. Made in China. I'm guessing they're, well, they look a little smoother than the other ones. Hopefully they're more consistent. But uh, these things usually do pretty good in the wind and the rain, most any of them, and the wet, which is good. And they burn a lot hotter than your homemade ones and things along that line. You know, your regular match dipped in wax will burn for the length of the head, which is about like that. Then the rest of it's just wood, and it's definitely not windproof, and they're water resistant. These do actually pretty good in the water. So we're going to find out, pull another one out, but yeah, that's their, that's their gimmick for up to 25 seconds. Well, there's another, if I remember right, there's another match company out there that makes really nice matches and they usually burn longer than what they say they will, in my experience. We'll get around to do, testing those here coming, coming up down the road a bit. First burn. We're going to see how this goes. There's 10 seconds. Fifteen. Twenty. 25 plus we'll have a more accurate number on the video but that's actually a good time and that is a lot more consistent than the pine mountain ones so some they must have somebody in the factory to make sure their formulations are a lot more even because these actually look a lot better than the other ones did just by general judge okay that's about that's very wet. We'll just kind of roll it across the sleeve a little bit. That's the only thing I don't like about these also. This was a $5, around a $5 box, I think. That's generally where they run. But they don't have strikers on the inside where they're waterproof. And the strikers are the important bit to get these going. Unless you, you know, you have other means. But if you have other means, what's the point in a match? So waterproof waterproof striker guys or put them in plastic or put some strikers in plastic now, that was a wet match and it's burning quite nicely and it is windy out here and it's still burning and it doesn't it doesn't really appear to affect the burn The other matches you had to tape, you'd have to tape two of them together in the end to get this burn time. I'm kind of impressed with these so far. I have to look to see if I can find some more of these. They're not too bad. All right, now the other. Get it past the ignition, the head. Man, you can hear that. It 
it's a good good burn it's still <laughs> that was kind of impressive I need to do that again that was kind of fun <laughs> oh nothing like waterproof matches to bring out the pyro That is actually kind of cool. I'm gonna have to take some of these on another video and make some of the match rockets and see how they go. Because a little, a little regular match will shoot quite a little ways if it's done right. A little bit of aluminum foil. I'll have to mess with that. That's definitely pretty solid. And I've got several name brand matches coming up that will be up in the next couple of weeks or so as I do them. But this is definitely well worth, these are definitely well worth the money. They're doing much better than the Pine Mountain brand. And they look like they burn every bit of what they say they do, which is what you want. I think they ran in it. I think I found these at Walmart and they were five dollars there I think Home Depot has them advertised I haven't seen them in there their site says like three bucks but with the price of everything going up and I know that they don't change a lot of them don't keep up with their site that well so I'm guessing they're probably running five bucks for 25 matches that do what they say they're gonna do 